It's the boreal of Canada Far away from factories and cars Riding the train through the forest and plains Under the moonbeams and stars The beauty, a danger remains With nature in the clutches of climate change This is our time It changed quickly Monday night. Strong winds pushed fires from the outskirts of Jasper to within a few kilometers of town. The town of Jasper and the National Park now under an evacuation order. About 25,000 people drove for hours through darkness in bumper to bumper traffic on the only highway out. outside we're talking about how we're, uh, we're going backwards right now because of, uh, they're evacuating Jasper which is our next stop so we're going back to Vancouver. We came across this one stretch where the entire hillside was just being built with a flame. It looked like I was staring directly into like hell. Really, at the end of the day, what makes a great high club event is three things. It's the friends you meet, it's the projects you build together, and it's the adventures that you go on. And if anything, like we can do all three of those things in an even deeper way than we could before. You know, like we now feel the reality of what we're talking about in a much deeper way than when we first talked about at opening ceremony. <laughs> I've been making a um, plant monitoring system so you can monitor the, the water levels in the soil of uh, plants and it will send you an alert if the plant needs watering or if you're over watering and it can tell you about the overall health of the plant. So to do this I've been designing a circuit board. Over here we have a um, microcontroller. We also have some programming ports for it and some indicator LED. We have an oscillator for the uh, microcontroller too. We have a um, temperature sensor. It's also a humidity and pressure sensor. And we have a flora module that can be used to alert people when your plant needs watering. It's sad that it couldn't be what it otherwise could have been because of the wildfire. But I'm having, I'm glad to, I'm glad to be here anyways. Yeah. The keeper trying to steal our stuff. <laughs> help him out, help him out. to go visit Linus Texas. Seeing the real habitat loss happen in front of me, like through the train, like the wildfires burning down all the forest, like I was thinking the work that closets are doing is really important, so more forms of awareness, how that's really important. So um, essentially the user should be able to um, choose their setting, choose their species, and various other factors that go into like a real ecosystem. And then based on that, um, I want to like display calculations for like various um, ecosystem parameters. So for example, like quality, which takes into account like biodiversity and ecosystem resilience. It's working! Yay!
news broke about an hour ago that the, the fires have reached the town itself. Um, if you look at the news, I mean, it's so tragic. There's like buildings on fire. As far as we know, like people are safe, but this is just one example of one of the greatest crises that our generation faces. Every person in this room is gonna have some sort of role before we kind of get off to all the fun stuff. We could just take like one minute, close your eyes, send good thoughts to all the people who are like actively being affected by this and just have a moment to like all reflect. And I think every single person on the train really felt, um, really felt climate change and really felt the effects of what we're doing uh, to our surroundings and to our environment. Projects. So yeah, we have to demo in two hours and 30 minutes, so hopefully it all goes well. So um, we implemented the GPT algorithm entirely from scratch, and then we you know, had to uh, collect a, a massive data set. We had to work on all the infrastructure to like, load this data, the uh, model architecture. Eventually we had it learn some basic um, structure of human language, which is really cool. There's a lot more connecting and interacting with people after the, the scenery kind of stopped, we kind of had to look more inward into the train and at each other. Definitely this hackathon, we're a lot closer together, uh, both physically and uh, like emotionally. I've always heard about wildfires around me in BC, in Kamloops, etc. And I was never really moved by it. It was just a story in the background. And suddenly when we were on the train and we could see the wildfires right beside us, it was really, really like moving. So I downloaded a data set of about 1.8 million wildfires in the US. And I used DuckDuckGL and Mapbox to plot them uh, every year. So here you can see what is the reason the wildfire happened. And you can play to see how it changes from year to year. And my goal was one, to visualize the past, and two, to see what we can do in the future. So based on all this data, I trained a random forest model to basically predict how big a wildfire would be at a specific place. This gives an interesting insight to like how climate change is getting worse over time and also helps us, you know, look look, and look ahead to the future. This is our time, we're hacking together Nothing's gonna stop us now You had your time, now we can do better All aboard, we'll show you how Cause don't it always seem as though We don't know what we've got till it's gone It seems so clear 